Today I'm reviewing the E-Tech City Laser Grip 1080 Infrared Thermometer. The 1080 is a very simple general purpose non-contact thermometer. I plan to use it to measure the temperature of electronics or the temperature on the tip of my soldering iron. However, you can use this thermometer to measure almost anything from the temperature of food on a stove to the temperature of your car's engine. The 1080 is a very simple device to use. Hold the gun, point it at the surface you want to measure and squeeze on the trigger till a temperature magically appears on the backlit screen. Now the backlight is very useful, especially when working in darkly lit places. However, you can turn the backlight off to increase your battery life. I just prefer to leave it on all the time. The laser pointer dot can also be turned off if you want to. You can instantly convert readings between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty handy. The 1080 will measure temperatures between minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit, or between minus 50 degrees Celsius to 550 degrees Celsius, with a claimed accuracy of about plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius. And we found that accuracy was closer to about 3 degrees Celsius in our test, which is still pretty decent for an inexpensive thermometer. I wouldn't, however, recommend using this to measure body temperature when you're running a fever. It's just not accurate enough. But for almost everything else, it'll work perfectly fine. The grip is rubberized and won't slip. The handle houses the 9 volt battery, which powers the thermometer. A brand new 9 volt battery is included. The 1080 is also a pretty compact unit. The handle measures 6 inches in length, while the barrel measures a little over three inches. So should you get this thermometer? Absolutely. Considering its price, which is around $15 in the US, it's a very handy tool to have around the house, lab, or shop. It does its job well and measures reasonably accurately. I've put a link to the 1080 below, so feel free to check it out. Hope this review was useful. If it was, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews. Thanks for watching.